Hi, my name is Mike and I am one of the mathematics tutors as well as an educational consultant here at the Profs and in today's video I get to talk about Imperial College London. Now Imperial College London is one of the best places to go in the world if you want to study mathematics. In fact, so good that it was ranked 9th in the QS World Rankings in 2024. Now it comes as no surprise that for a place so competitive to be able to get into, that the admissions rates are a little bit low. In fact, it's 28% um, in regards to the 2024-2025 application cycle. However, here at the Profs, we're very, very happy to be able to boast a 95% success rate with all of our Imperial applicants across the board. So if you like what you hear in this video, please take a look at the information in the description below to hear more about our services. For now, here are my top five tips on how you can get into Imperial for Mathematics. So my first top tip in terms of how to get into Imperial for Mathematics is make sure you're really excelling in Mathematics and further Mathematics. Now, we are probably going to be talking a little bit later in this video about supercurriculars. That's what you do in regards to really, really showing off your passion for the subject outside of your curriculum, but at the very least, You've got to be making sure that you're aiming for two A stars and an A if you're doing A levels, or a 39 in your IB. And of course, where do those top scores come from or top grades? That has got to come from maths. So you've got to get an A star in maths and further maths. On top of that, you have to take the TMUA in order to get onto this course. So if you'd like to know how to do really, really well on that test, have a look at this video right here if you want to know more. Now, Imperial are very, very flexible when it comes to the offers that they grant for students. And say you ended up having a really, really good personal statement, you had a really, really good application, um, you're on track to getting your grades, but you take the TMUA and you get some borderline grade that is a little bit below what they're looking for, but they still see a bit of potential. They might, in those circumstances, suggest that you actually take a step two or step three paper and include that as part of your offer. And usually the grades for these are quite low, maybe about a two at a minimum. So in regards to these things, it's really, really good if you develop some practice in looking at perhaps some admissions test papers and competition questions in both the TFUA and the uh, step papers. But at the very, very least, make sure that you've got those grades on target before even applying for this university. Now my second top tip in terms of getting into Imperial for Mathematics is know the TMUA inside and out. You know it's going to be a compulsory part of your offer. So at the very least, you've got to have a strong understanding of how this is structured. Perhaps as well as the step two in step three papers if you want to be a little bit ahead of the curve. But for the TMUA papers, they have two papers um, that they have out of a possible 20 marks. The first paper is mainly on your mathematical ability and your mathematical reasoning, whilst the second paper is more based on logic and verification and your ability to be able to sort of analyse proofs there. The first paper is probably going to be a little bit more familiar to you if you've done a lot of mathematics already and you might have looked at other sort of admissions tests like the uh, MAT for Oxford. Um, however, the second paper requires a little bit of time and dedication to learn about. You've got to learn about things like necessity and sufficiency, for instance. What are the differences? That's up for you to find out. So before even going for Imperial, if you know you're on track for the grades, really make sure you understand the TMUA inside and out. And again, should you want to know a little bit more information on that, we actually released a video not too long ago on this. Um, have a look at this video here, should you want to know more. Now, my next tip in terms of getting into Imperial is take a look at some competitions uh, in order to engage in. With the admissions test, they are going to be asking questions of you that are outside of the, the general framework of how you might expect questions to pop up in the middle of your A-levels or in the middle of your IB. Um, and a lot of places that I can recommend uh, would be online in terms of resources. So the uh, UK Maths Challenge is a really good first place to start. If you've not really had a lot of experience in working with competition questions in the past, um, but if you want something a little bit more challenging and you should be able to sort of grow in your confidence in these things as you uh, continue to engage 
with these competitions. Um, I would suggest maybe looking into the uh, UK Kangaroo, which is a very, very similar format, actually, to the UKMC. In fact, a very similar format to the TMUA in terms of having multiple choice questions um, in order to be able to build that proficiency. The American Maths Challenge offers a little bit of extra practice. And once again, it is multiple choice, but uh, it is also, uh, once again, questions that require you to really think outside of the box in terms of answering questions. Um, and then beyond that, um, if you want some practice with the step papers, if you're going to have to take those or you are planning on taking those anyway to boost your application, um, then maybe looking into the British Mathematical Olympiad would be a better choice for you, given that sort of open-ended, op more open-ended questions. Um, so definitely have a look through these things. Um, should you want to be able to build on that experience, Reading for this is really, really important too. Um, there's a multitude of books online that you can find with a lot of past questions. The best way to be able to build on these experiences is just give them a try. And the earlier you start with that, the better prepared you're going to be. Now, tip number four uh, in applying for Imperial, and we did mention this slightly earlier, is make sure that you have a really, really strong personal statement. You're applying for one of the best uh, maths departments in the world, so you've got to show that you are academically rigorous in terms of going for mathematics, and that has got to come down to having a good selection of reading materials, making sure that you have a good list of super curriculars, um, so maybe taking a few additional online courses in mathematics to expand on what you studied at school, um, or it could even be that you've actually attended a public lecture at university on uh, mathematics topics uh, that is a little bit wide reaching. Um, maybe, like for instance, uh, like what is the fastest dinosaur? I think actually I uh, saw so as a talk somewhere. Um, you might even want to be able to engage in uh, competitions involving the writing of mathematics. There's a lot of competition where you can look into the history of mathematics. If you also maybe have additional A-levels in like history or English literature, um, which I did actually when I was studying uh, A-levels, not the history, but the English literature part. Um, so you really want to be able to show as much as you can the strengths that you have on offer. Um, and even though we have a new system for UCAS uh, in terms of actually how you answer these questions for the personal statement, you still want to show the majority of cases that you are academically rigorous, that you really love your subject, and that you have the capability of going far beyond what is taught at school. So tip number five, we're getting to the end of this video now, um, is make sure that you're prepared for the possibility of taking an interview with Imperial. It's not offered to everyone. It's um, not necessarily a show of a bad application if you get asked to give one but they might want to um, have you around for an interview just to ask you a few questions about your application and maybe a little tiny bit about your mathematical ability. Um, you will only really know this with the offer that you get granted, um, so make sure, so that you don't have any nasty surprises, that you're able to talk to someone in person about why you love mathematics, what is specifically you want to do with a mathematics degree perhaps, how you might engage in Imperial's sort of student community. The beauty about actually having an interview with a university is that unlike with a UCAS application where you're applying to at most five different universities and you have to be quite general in terms of what you want to be able to, to do or get out of a university degree, if you're having a, an interview with a particular university, you can say just point blank, you really, really love Imperial for the facilities that it offers. You're really attracted to this aspect of their course. Um, already you're sort of thinking about second year modules. This is what you might want to do. Um, there is a possibility that they might ask you some like very, very basic mathematics questions. It won't be outside of the realm of what you would have already studied for. But just to be able to prepare for that, I highly recommend um, going through, um, I'd say, step one papers, um, particularly questions where you actually have a breakdown of actually what they want you to do. Um, and have somebody read over that who might know a little bit of mathematics and um, role play a little bit that as an interview. The only way that you can practice an interview is actually, or get ready for an interview, make sure that you succeed in it, is by practicing as much as possible. So don't be afraid to do that. Maybe get a camera and film yourself 
and then actually look at your sort of like your posture, <laughs> your performance, how much you're actually smiling in the middle of these things. Um, so it doesn't necessarily hurt to be fully prepared, but know that that could be a possibility uh, within your application. So those are my top five tips on how to get into Imperial for Mathematics. Now, if you found any of what we've talked about useful, please like and subscribe. We offer a lot of different videos as to how to get into multiple uh, different courses here. Or if you perhaps know a friend or uh, a family member that is interested to in get into Imperial, feel free to share it with them. I'm sure they will find benefit in this. Um, but no true benefit really, really beats one-to-one -one consultation. And we have so many tutors here that are like ex experts or industry professionals in these areas, including myself. So should you want any of our assistance or help in getting into universities like these, please have a look at the information below um, in terms of how to contact us and find out more about what we can offer you. Um, but until we hear from you um, in the future, best of luck with your application. Bye-bye.